our estimate of the uh, amount people are spending on this based on the National Health Interview Survey is $34 billion. That's a very large amount of money. Uh, it is, however, only 1% of the country's health uh, care expenditures, but about 10% of the amount that's actually paid out of pocket. And that's 2007. As there are more uninsured, the portion may change somewhat because there are more out-of-pocket costs. Okay, so these are the actual use of selected CAM modalities um, in 2007. Natural products defined for the purpose of this survey as non-vitamin, non-mineral uh, dietary supplements are used by about 17% of the country or, or 38 million. Uh, the, the survey estimates of, of dietary supplements have some problems because uh, people may not agree, have a clear and consistent definition of what is a dietary supplement uh, and uh, they may choose not to reveal what they're taking. Uh, but industry sources are pretty much consistent with this. So the Nutrition Business Journal, which is the trade journal of, for dietary supplements and over-the-counter medications, uh, their estimate is that 20% of the population are uh, users of botanical or herbal supplements. So there are some differences between the industry data and the survey data, but at least in, in a broad qualitative sense that they're reasonably consistent. The next class of um, uh, non-mainstream uh, practice that is identified by respondents in the survey is, is deep breathing and meditation. Uh, uh, these practices are, are widely used, and chiropractic and massage are the next uh, category. This compares the data in 2002 and 2007. And increased use of meditation, massage, and yoga. These are actually for uh, NHIS very big changes. Most of these practice, most of the findings they find only small year to year changes. So our colleagues at the CDC who did these analysis were surprised at the magnitude of these changes. Uh, I think they're not all that surprising. Um, this, these are practices that as you walk down the street, you see more places advertising yoga and so on, but I, I think they are showing an interest to the public in the mind-body kind of complementary and alternative medicine.